Okay, I am setting up my screen. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's me. It's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so that way I know everything is a-okay. I need a Y-E-S, a Y-E-S, please. Why yes do I see? I don't see one yet. Okay, there it is, Lolly, thank you so much. All right, all right. Well, the green team is here. The green team is strong. Hello, Tomas. Hello, Rita. Of course, Lolly, hello. Mwah. Air Lady, hello. Peter, hello. Okay, great, great. I also see Radu. How you doing, Radu? I see Helga. Hello, Helga. I see, let's see. Ah, me, hello, me. Okay, good, good, good. Well, um, we are here. Yes, we are. And um, we always have a toast for good luck. Yeah, so um, let's have our toast for good luck. Yeah, we want to do that. We want to have good luck for our class. Yes, we do. So um, whatever you're drinking, if it's tea, if it's coffee, if it's water, if it's milk, if it's a juice, if it's cola, whatever, please pick it up for our toast. Yes, so we will have two toasts. Our first toast will be for the green team. Yes, the members of the channel. You see their names in green and they support me and they support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big, big thank you. Cheers, green team. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump, bump, cheers, bump, cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Ah, Kayleen's here, hello Kayleen. And our second toast is for you, yes. Without you, there's no reason for me to be here. Let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and wonderful lesson today. Yes, cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Ah. Tomas is here. Hello, Tomas. How you doing? Okay, good. Ah. Mary, or uh, Merama, Merama, Merama. <laughs> okay, well, um, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to the people in the United States. So the people in the U.S., Thanksgiving, yes. So um, I'm in Japan, I'm American, and today's Friday, Friday morning, so actually in America, in the U.S., it is Thursday evening. And so um, people in the U.S. are celebrating Thanksgiving with their friends and family. So um, everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Mwah. Okay, good, 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 good. I miss it, yes. Um, I miss turkey, yes. I miss potatoes. I miss yams. I miss stuffing. I miss cranberry sauce. I miss pumpkin pie. I miss um, apple pie. And um, I miss my friends and family. So everyone, happy Thanksgiving once again. Mwah. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you right now with your friends and family having turkey and good conversation. So um you guys are lucky, very, very lucky. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> Samuel, hello, Samuel. All right, so let's get into our um, conversation. Well, let's get into our um, live stream lesson now. Let's see, Air Lady says, um, thank you. Yeah, so Air Lady is in Michigan and she says, Happy Thanksgiving. You t thank you, Helga. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ah, me. Thank you very much, me. Radu says, I am uh, celebrating maple syrup. 
So Radu is in Canada, and Thanksgiving is an American thing. So in thanks in Canada, you aren't doing Thanksgiving. You have your own Thanksgiving, Radu, right? I think Canadians have their own um, time, their own kind of like Thanksgiving. I'm not sure, but you could tell us about it, Radu, if you want to. Okay, well, here is today's lesson plan right here. I have it written down on this sheet of paper, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today. We are going to review Tuesdays, form a sentence. Then we will do which one is different. Then we will do problem solution. Then we will do a conversation in my book, <clears throat> the red book, book two. Then we will do the members, the green team's dictation card. So we are going to do one, two, three, four, five activities. Yes, we're going to do five activities. We will be here for two hours, two hours. I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are feeling well. I hope you are ready to practice your English with me. And of course, in the chat, lots of great things happen in the chat. Lots of great learning, as I always say. Lots of examples. That's how we learn from examples. Yes, we do. Okay, good. Ava's here. Hello, Ava. How are you doing? Okay, good, 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 good. Um, Umesh is here. Hello, Umesh. Good to see you. So, Radu, okay, that's correct, Mark. Thanksgiving in Canada takes place on October 10th. All right, so, um, Radu, your Thanksgiving has finished. Okay, I hope you had, Radu, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, me. <laughs> All right, well, me, let's do our first activity, shall we? Our first activity is form a sentence. So I'm going to write number one right here to keep everything in order. So one is form a sentence. And there are three cards, right? There's one, two, and three. One, two, three. And so that means I need three magnets. So I'm going to get three magnets right over there. One, two, three, I got them. They're right here in my hand. We got a red one, we've got a yellow one, and we've got a pink one. Okay, so we got <clears throat> three magnets for three cards. Now, um, some people, okay, so our pattern is, um, well, Okay, let, let's go over, let's guess it, and then I want to talk about it a little bit because I got some comments that some people were confused, so I want to um, talk about it a little bit before um, we start making sentences, okay? So, but first, I want you, let's, let's guess, let's look at the cards once again. Here we go, so, oh, got to get it in the right order. Okay, here we go, here's our first part of our pattern. Hey, Vilmar's in the house. How you doing, Vilmar? Good to see you. Oh, Air Lady said, I went to a Brazilian restaurant, had a lot of American there in the restaurant, Brazilian. So oh, lots of Americans and Brazilians together. Great, Air Lady. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, subject. That's right, subject. So our first part of our sentence, our pattern, is the subject, <clears throat> so it's um, he, she, you, I, they, you, we, it. Okay, so subject, the subject. That's the beginning of our pattern, the subject. So that would be um, you, that would be he, that would be she, that would be um, it. Okay, so the subject. <clears throat> and then, Here's our second part of our, of our pattern is right here. This is the second part. And what does this picture represent? <clears throat> yeah, okay, good. So Lala, that's the key right there, the verb enjoy. So that's key to this, right? Because some people are getting confused. Okay, so 
enjoy. Yes, enjoy is a verb. And so here we go. So enjoy. This is our verb. All right, so we have subject, verb, and our verb is enjoy. And here we go, our th one more card. Our last part of our pattern is what is a person, place, or thing in grammar? What is a person, place, or thing in grammar? Good, Helga, Samuel. Hey, Dang. Dang is in the house. Hello. Yeah, so it's the noun. Okay, good. So we have <clears throat> basic English structure, right? Subject, verb, noun. Okay, that's the basic. Okay, so however, <clears throat> so enjoy means we could also say like and um, get pleasure, right? So <clears throat> enjoy means to to receive pleasure okay so so if you if you have ice cream you can enjoy ice cream right and, and so yeah how about that I enjoy ice cream that'll be mine okay so what I want so I want to um, talk about this pattern a little bit because some people were using a gerund okay and this pattern so if you use a gerund which is a verb with ing, which becomes a noun, right? Because you can't use uh, noun, noun. And so by <clears throat> using a noun and adding an ing, you, you turn that to a noun. So for example, I enjoy cooking, right? That's the correct sentence, but I want to practice a, a normal noun without, like I don't want to practice a gerund. I don't want to practice an infinitive. I want you to practice just using a noun. And so, um, <clears throat> In the comments, people are saying, well, why why did you say no, right? I enjoy cooking. I enjoy reading. Why did you say no? Well, because I want us to practice this today. We'll do, we'll do nouns, I mean, we'll do gerunds and infinitives later. But today, I want us to practice this pattern. And so this pattern, we need just a normal noun, okay? So like ice cream. That is just a normal noun. So I enjoy ice cream. Right? So here we go. Just subject, enjoy ice cream. Or you can you know, write subject, verb, noun. And, and if you say, I enjoy eating ice cream, that's fine. But um, eating becomes... Uh, a, a gerund, not a normal noun, okay? So today we're just doing this pattern, okay? So um, you're not wrong, right? If you say, I enjoy cooking, you are not wrong. It's just we are doing this pattern and we're not using a gerund today, that's all, okay? So I'm not saying you are wrong. I'm just saying this is the pattern we're practicing today, okay? So I just want to make sure that is clear with everybody. Maybe maybe um, on Tuesday I wasn't so clear because some people were writing in there, some people were saying, oh, I enjoy um, um, swimming, I enjoy uh, cooking, and things like that. And you're using gerunds, which is, that's a good sentence, but it's not this pattern, okay? That's all. Um, we will do, next week we'll do other patterns. Every week we do different patterns. So this week it's this pattern. So I want us to practice this. So, okay. So let me look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Lolly says enjoy equals take pleasure in. Perfect. Now see, okay. Now we're getting some um, sentences here. Radu says I enjoy football. That's a good sentence. Air Lady, I enjoy Mark's live stream. Oh, Rita. Rita, thank you so much, Rita. Mwah. Thank you, Rita. I hope you're doing well, Rita. I know that you're very busy right now in your hotel, so you can't um, 
come and see us as often as you used to. But um, it's good to see you today, Rita, and I appreciate that very much. Mwah. Love you, Rita. So I'm going to put Rita's name right up here because of her kindness. And like I always say, Rita is, she is on the green team and she's given me extra support. So I really enjoy that, Rita. Mwah. Love you, Rita. Okay, let's see some of these sentences here. Okay, um, Air Lady says, I enjoy Mark's live stream. Thank you, Air Lady. That's good, right? So we're practicing just the noun, right? Not Jaren, noun. So no ing, okay? So we're not using ing, okay? So for example, I enjoy my life, says Air Lady. That's, a, that's this pattern. Lolly says, I enjoy onion pie. That is this pattern. Um, Samuel, I enjoy, okay, I enjoy fun. You can say that, Samuel. Um, right, I enjoy hamburgers. That's this pattern. I en okay, I enjoy breakfast. Yes, that's this pattern. Of course, Lolly says, I enjoy English grammar lessons, of course. <laughs> Tomas, I enjoy lunch. Good, that's this pattern. Radu says, I enjoy details. That's this pattern. Oh, Vilmar says, I like to sit on my couch and watch videos on the internet. Good, good, Vilmar. Lolly says, I enjoy English books. That's this pattern. Let's see. Yeah, Umesh, I enjoy ice cream. We don't use the S. For ice cream, okay? Just, I enjoy ice cream, Umesh. Good. Right, do I enjoy croissants? Lolly says, I enjoy a walk in the forest. Maybe you should say the forest. Right, he says, I enjoy cereal. Good. Kadeen, I enjoy pizza. Good. Umesh, I enjoy peanuts. Good. Lolly, I enjoy my black coffee. I do too. Right, do I enjoy Mark's checkered Canadian shirt? You are a true maple syrup fan, Mark. Well, this is my Thanksgiving shirt. <laughs> so, so right, do when I um, this morning when I was getting dressed, I said, "Hmm, what should I wear today?" Right, and I go, "Well, in America, it's Thanksgiving, so um, okay, I should wear." A Thanksgiving shirt. And so this is my Thanksgiving shirt. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lolly, I enjoy healthy food. Good, good, good. Radu, I enjoy basketball. Ava, oh, I enjoyed my time with our daughter Lucy. Good. So um, Ava, because it's she now she left, she went back to Canada. Right, Ava? So I enjoyed time. That's a good sentence. Perfect. I enjoyed time with my daughter, with our daughter. Good. Um, is the four part of pandemia? Pandemic in Japan. Oh, oh, okay. So the pandemic. So Tomas is asking about the the like fourth wave no we're doing good Tomas. so there's no new wave here in japan so we don't have a uh fourth wave maybe i'm not sure what wave we've had i don't know how many waves we've had maybe we've had like three maybe four but right now tomas we're fine everything's good it, it's down the 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 covid cases are way down here in Japan. Thank you, Lolly. Lolly says, I enjoy Mark's English lessons. Thank you so much, Radu. I enjoy pineapples, pineapple pizza. Finally, Radu. Radu has come on our side. Radu has come to the, Radu has come to the um, pineapple pizza side. Yes, he has. Okay. 
Helga, I enjoy Mark's wonderful lessons and a pleasant company despite the deep night. Yeah, Helga, it's like for Helga, this is a terrible time for Helga. She, she's in rush, and so it's a bad time for Helga. I'm sorry, the time wise, right? So for her, it's, it's super late at night, so, or we can say super early. <clears throat> All right, Ava, I enjoy food. Olga, how are you doing? I enjoy flowers. So, great, everybody. I enjoy English books, says Lolly. So, great, everyone. So, you're using this pattern very nicely. Now, what's great about review? Now, on Tuesday, we did this for the first time. And many people were using the gerund, which is not wrong, but it's not this pattern. But today, everyone's using it perfectly. So, you know, that's the benefit of reviewing. So we, we do it on Tuesday, and then we do it again on Friday. And by reviewing it, you, you end up doing better, you improve, right? So great job, everyone. Great job. Okay. So Tomas says, in, in Europe, it's the fourth wave. Yeah, so I know. I, I read in the newspaper. So everyone, take care. People in Europe, please take care of yourselves. Um, Radu, Mark, Japan is doing really well now with vaccines. I'm glad that the COVID cases are down now in Japan. Yep, so that is, that is true, Radu. We have a almost, we, in Japan, we were real slow at the beginning about vaccines, but all of a sudden, Everyone is getting their vaccines, and so we're doing really well about people being vaccinated. And the cases are way down, like single digits. Like in my area, my prefecture, like yesterday, like three cases, right? So hardly anyone, right? Close to, not zero, but getting really close. But the one problem, it, it, there's still restrictions coming into Japan, right? So right now, if you come to Japan from anywhere, from America, from Hawaii, from Europe, wherever, from, from Korea, wherever you're coming from and you come into Japan, you have to do a, a two-week quarantine. So it's still, there's restrictions coming into Japan. So I think that's a, a big reason why cases are way down. It's because there's still restrictions coming into Japan. Um, I don't know when they're going to lower the restrictions. I hope they do because I want to visit my family. But I, I can't right now because I can't do the two-week quarantine. I can't do it because of work. So I can't, I can't take two weeks. You know, I can't leave Japan for two weeks to visit my family and then come back to Japan and then stay two weeks in um, a hotel that's too difficult for me. Um, I have to work. <laughs> so right now I, I can't leave Japan. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so um, let's do it. Let's change our activity, okay? So this was review from Tuesday, all right? So Let's go ahead and do our second activity, activity number two. And activity number two is which one is different? Which one is different? All right, so I'm going to show you four items, and you're going to tell me which one is different and why. So, for example, I always give this example. <clears throat> if the four items, here's an example, red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes, bicycle is different because it's transportation. The other three are colors, right? So um, blue, purple, pink are colors. 
and then bicycle is transportation. So bicycle is different. So that's what we're, that's what we are doing. Ah, oh, Mariano. Hello, Mariano is in the house. Hernando is in the house. I enjoy. Um, okay, so Hernando, we don't want the, we, take is a verb. So we can't have enjoy take. So you could say, I enjoy naps. That's a good, so our pattern, right? So subject, enjoy is a verb. So let's say subject, verb, noun. So you can't go subject, noun, noun. You can't do two nouns together. So you could do nap, right? I enjoy naps. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna show you, or I'm gonna not, first I'm gonna tell you the four items, and then I want you to tell me which one doesn't belong and why. Yeah, Vilmar, bicycle doesn't belong because it's not a color, right? Here we go, four items. Which one is different? Here we go. A clipboard, an envelope, a book, <coughs> a memo pad. Which one is different and why? One more time. A clipboard, an envelope, a book, a memo pad. Which one is different and why? Tricycle. <laughs> I didn't say tricycle, Vilmar. Tomas says, I enjoy a nap after lunch. Good. So, nice sentence, Tomas. You want to say a nap. I enjoy a nap. And actually, a gives you the hint that the next word is a noun, right? So, a, na a nap is a noun. So, that's good, Tomas. I enjoy a nap. Okay, Radu has his answer. A book because it has authors mentioned, mentioned in it. Good, Radu. A book because it has authors mentioned in it. Pretty Fifi, how are you doing? What is the last word? Okay, I'll do it one more time, and then I will show you the pictures. Okay, right now I want you just to listen first. <clears throat> Here are the four things, one more time. A clipboard, an envelope, a book, and a memo pad. Memo pad, pretty Fifi. Memo, the last one is a memo pad. Lolly says, an envelope because you can put things in it. Nice one. Helga says, a book because it is not used for keeping something. Good, good, good. Nice, I like it, Helga. Air Lady, um, you know, I see we have 140. Five Brazilian restaurants, Rosette. Wow, Air Lady. In, in my town here, where I live in Japan, there's one Brazilian restaurant, and it's called the Golden Chicken, and they make wonderful chicken, Brazilian-style chicken. So um, sometimes we go there, my family. So I enjoy Brazilian chick. I enjoy Brazilian food, Air Lady. Okay, Umer says, a clipboard because it is not made of paper. Very good. Ava, a book because it's made from paper. Tomas, a book because we read it and we do not write in it. Yeah, Tomas, so a book because we read it, we don't write in it. Okay, one more time, Tomas. A book because we read it, we don't write in it. Air Lady, an envelope because it's just for putting something in. Yeah, or it's we put um, letters in an envelope, right? We put we put letters in an envelope. Okay, pretty Fifi, good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you the pictures now. Ah. Pisca. Okay, pretty Fifi. I think clipboard because it's not made of, made out of paper. Good. A clipboard because it's not made out of paper. Okay, Tomas, we read it. We do not write in it. Perfect. Nice, Tomas. Um, dang. A clipboard because it's made from metal. Okay, good. 
Okay, here, here we go. Here are the four things. A clipboard, an envelope, a book, a memo pad. Which one doesn't belong and why? Yeah, Tomas, that's nice. We read it, we do not write in it. Perfect. Okay, good, 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 good. Ah, so Helga says, although some people can store letters, flowers, money in books. Yeah, and also what some people do is they like, Take a book, if it's a thick book, this is, this is a thin book, so it'd be hard, but um, like in the middle of the book, they cut a hole in it, and so then it, it's like a secret storage, right? So you could put maybe something valuable like money or um, something secret, something that you don't want other people to take, and so you, you can put it in there, so... And then you put the book, you close the book, and you can put the book away in, the, um, in your bookshelf. And so if a thief comes in your house, they're not going to look for something in a book, right? So it's a good, it's a good um, secret, um, a good secret place to keep valuables. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, Mark, last Saturday, I lost your explanation why you moved to Japan, and someone knocked on my door. I'll lose the explanation. Oh, okay. Some, sometime you have time. I would like to hear why. Okay, so, Air Lady, how about tomorrow? Okay? So, tomorrow, I will um, tell you why I moved to Japan. Okay, Air Lady? So, I will tell you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, Lolly says, a memo pad because you can use it everywhere. Yeah, we can use, use this everywhere. You make a note if, so you don't forget, right? So you, you write something on a memo pad so you don't forget. Like, okay, it's a, something important. Like, okay, I need to do something today. So you write it on the memo pad so you don't forget, right? And maybe... You write uh, an important message to yourself, and so you, you write that message, the something that's important for you. You write it on the memo pad, take off the piece of paper, and then maybe you put it in your pocket, right? And so you don't forget. Or you want to make a little um, note to someone else, and so you write a little, let's say you drive to a friend's house, but your friend was not at home, so you write a little note like, Hey, I stopped by, I dropped by, but you weren't home, so um, how about um, giving me a call when you get home, and then you put that little piece of paper on their door or something like that. So there's many, many uses for a memo pad, yeah? You can use it to, um, to practice your English, other things, many, many purposes. Okay, Rita says an envelope. It hides a secret inside. Oh, so like a love letter or um, whatever. Maybe you want to write a little secret. You put it in the envelope and you can look at it later. That's good, Rita. Samuel, an envelope because it is used to write a letter. Ava, a memo pad because we can use it for writing small things at work. Air Lady, um, that's one. Yeah, I, yep. I would like to try your home cooking, Air Lady. How about your home cooking? <laughs> Kating, a clipboard because you can clip papers on it. Yes, that's what I'm doing here. This is my clipboard, and I'm clipping these papers on it. So the clipboard keeps the papers on the board, right? This clip holds the paper on the board like these magnets hold the cards on the board, right? So the magnets hold these cards on the whiteboard and 
this clipboard holds the paper on the board, right? So, right? So it's it's really useful. So clipboard is very useful. Okay, good, good. Yeah, tomorrow I will tell you all about it, Air Lady. Tomorrow. Ava, an envelope because we can send it to other people. Oh, I like that, Ava. Nice answer. Thank you, Air Lady. Oh, Asha, thank you so much. Asha says, Mark, my ESL students love your videos. I always incorporate them into my... Thank you, Asha. Mwah. Thank you for your kind support. I appreciate it. If you have any requests, um, request videos that you want me to make for your class, I can do that. So I'd be happy to make a video for your class. Just let me know, um, for example, um, the the grammar point, the vocabulary, a pattern, and I can make a video for your class. That would be fun. Tomas, love letters from Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Rita, memo pad, it comes in different colors. Yes, very good. See, you guys have lots of great answers. Oh, that would be great, Air Lady. That would be wonderful, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Air Lady, for your wonderful invitation. Mwah. Okay, one more here, and then we got to do a new one. Lolly says, an envelope because I can send letters to Mark. Mwah. You guys are too kind. I have, everyone here is too kind. You guys are very, very kind to me, so thank you very much. Vilmar, the clipboard is made of thick, Hard cardboard, that's true. Hello, Samporn. Helga, a memo pad, because you can tear off the sheets from it. Yes, Helga. Oh, say, wait, Sewu in the house? I didn't see Sewu. There she is. Hello, Sewu. Oh, Sewu's busy at work. Okay. So let's do our next group, shall we? Here we go. One more group. Oh, and just to, we've done all these. And so we're going to go to our next page. But right here is tomorrow's worksheet. So tomorrow we are going to do this worksheet, okay? So I made this yesterday. And so tomorrow on Saturday, we're gonna do this worksheet. So please come here tomorrow, this time tomorrow, okay, on Saturday, Japan time, for our live stream tomorrow. Okay, here we go, our next group. Are you ready? Group number two. Okay, Air Lady, thank you. Mwah, thank you, Air Lady. Here, oh, Alex. The Dominican Republic is in the house. Hello, Alex. How you doing, buddy? Okay, here we go. Let's count down to our next group. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. A fire extinguisher. Matches. A fire hydrant. A fire truck. Which one doesn't belong and why? Here we go. One more time. A fire extinguisher. Matches. A fire hydrant. A fire truck. Which one is different and why? Oh no, Radu. Glad oh, not having connection. Yeah, that was terrible, Radu. So, yeah, Tuesday was terrible. Yeah, that was, surpri that was surprising. Okay, Radu, matches because they are used to create fire. Nice. Helga, matches because Mark can't buy them in Japan. Well, <laughs> good memory. You can buy them, but I just said you don't see them like you used to. Like when I was a kid, they're everywhere. Like restaurants had them. Uh, I don't know. I used to see them all over the place, but not today. You don't, I don't see them much. Of course, you can go to the store and buy matches. You can still go and buy them, but restaurants 
and other places don't advertise with matches anymore. Okay. Okay, Sevra matches. It does not have fire in it. Oh, Sevra, very good. Clever, very clever. That's right. Fire hydrant has fire in it. Fire hydrant has fire in it. Fire truck has fire in it, right? The word, but matches. There's no fire in the word. Yeah, good. good. I like that, Sevra. Red. Oh, Tomas, matches make fire. That's right. So, Tomas, makes, matches makes fire. No, matches make fire. So, you don't want S, S like that. Right, do. A fire hydrant because it is attached to the ground. Yes, nice one, Radu. I like it. Lolly, matches because you can set a fire. Yes, we say set a fire. So make a fire, but actually we use set a fire. Yeah, good, good, good. Well, it's a little different. Actually, that's a good point. Make a fire would be like if you are camping. Let's say you're camping and like, okay, you make the fire. So we got to like cook or make a campfire. So you make the fire. Set a fire, you like that's something bad, right? So maybe an arsonist sets a fire. So arsonist is someone who, who uses fire to destroy things, right? So sometimes, um, you know, a, a big forest fire. And most forest fires are caused by natural um, reasons like lightning strikes or I'm not sure, but many forest fires are natural and but sometimes people set a fire so sometimes people do it on purpose some people will set a fire to their own home because they want insurance money or you know so if someone um, makes a fire for a bad reason we say set a fire okay Ava matches because it starts a fire Tomas the others are, again, fire. Okay, yeah, matches make fire. Lolly, a fire truck because it's important to extinguish fires rapidly. Yeah, so good, Lolly. So um, a fire truck because um, they extinguish fires quickly or rapidly. Good, good, good. Right, do matches because they are, they are the smallest in the group. How about that? They are the smallest in the group. Air Lady matches because we can put a fire on. Oh, okay, so matches because we can um, build a fire, we can um, start a fire. How about that? Start. That's good. Matches because we can start a fire. We can start a fire. Oh, Sevra. A fire truck because it has wheels. Very good. Okay, Umesh. Umesh says, please show the pictures. I will do that right now. I'm going to show the pictures right now. Here we go. Okay, there is the fire extinguisher. Matches a fire hydrant and a fire truck. A fire extinguisher matches a fire hydrant, fire truck. Okay, those are the 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 target words that the the um, the what target words? Yeah. The keywords, that's, the, that's what I was looking for. The keywords are a fire extinguisher, matches, a fire hydrant, a fire truck. Which one is different? Uh, Radu, arsonist, maniac that damages objects using fire. Yes, Radu, so arsonist. They are bad people. <laughs> oh boy, fire is terrible because it destroys everything, right? So 
you know, if you have, you have pictures of your family, you have important documents, you have important things, and a fire destroys everything. And so those are just arsonists. They're the worst of the worst. Oh, Helga, let me see. Oh, okay. Helga says a fire hydrant because it conducts water. No, it, it, it can, well, a fire hydrant, yeah, so a fire hydrant connects um, a water to a hose, fire hose, right? So the fire truck, so a firefighter puts out a fire using a fire hose. And so the, so the water comes from the fire hydrant, comes from under the ground, and then the hose, the fire hose connects to the fire hydrant. And they turn on the, the water from the fire hydrant, and so it's high pressure, and so the water comes out of the fire hydrant into the hose, and so then the firefighter puts out the fire using water that is going through the fire hose. So the fire hose puts out the fire, the water comes from the fire hydrant, and the, the, the uh, hose connects to the fire hydrant. So the, the, the um, fire hose connects to the fire hydrant. <laughs> So lots of fire words, yeah? So the fire hose connects to the fire hydrant. All right, read it. Matches because the wind can blow it. Yeah, so, or how about this, Rita? Matches because wind can um, blow it out. So we say we blow out the matches, right? So let's say you strike, so you have the match, and then you 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 strike the match, and then it's it's it. Then what's the word? How can I say this? So you have a match, you strike the match, and by striking the match, it starts a little spark, and that spark, and that I I think the match is made of of uh, sulfur, so then the sulfur catches fire. So then now the match is on fire, and now you want the fire to, you want to um, extinguish the fire, so you just blow it out with your, with your mouth, right? So the wind, you blow it out, right? And so we, like for example, birthday candles, right? So a birthday cake, there are candles on the birthday cake. You light the candles with the matches, or with a match, so now all the candles are on, on fire. So there's little, little, little flames, little flames on the candles. You make a wish, and then you use your mouth to blow out the candles. <gasps> right, and so now you're, so, so the, the wind blew out the, the candle, or it blew out the little flame. So fire, I, when, when you say fire, I, I think of like, 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 like a campfire or, um, you know, a house fire, you know, something big, a little large, right? A candle, I'd say, I, I think of it as a flame or like on a match, it has a flame. So that's what I think of when, when we say fire. So here, here's a match. Okay, and so you light the match, you strike the match, and so I call this a flame. So it's not real big, and then let's say, you know, uh, let's, let's say a campfire, and so we have wood here. And so this is much bigger. So this would be a fire, a flame, and a fire. <clears throat> so a flame is much smaller. It'd be like on a candle. Here we got a candle. 
And so we have a little, and this be a flame. Let's say you're, you're in your kitchen, your, your stove, right? And, and so let's say it's round, and then on top you have your, like a grill, right? And this is a flame. Okay, so, so I think my, my thinking is small, like, like on a can candle, match, stove. Let's, let's write these candle, match, stove. Okay, these, these are flames. And then let's say campfire be a fire, house fire, something larger where you'd say fire. They're like, um, matches because they can fire on the birthday candle. Okay, so light the birthday candles. Good, good. Okay, let's say this. Let's, so um, a match... A match lights the birthday candles. Okay, that's a good. That's good. Th these are like actually um, good, good, good vocabulary um, practice right now. <clears throat> a match lights the birthday candles, or like. Light the stove. So some, maybe, you know, if your gas, um, let's say your, your stove, your glass, your, your gas stove, it's not, it's not working. So you might have to light the stove yourself, right? So take a match and light your stove, right? So we light. So, um, yes. So to make the fire on the candle, you light the candle. To make the fire on the stove, you light the stove. Um, yeah. Okay, Vilmar, all the stars blink because they're all like a boiling cauldron. <laughs> Copied from Google. <laughs> How about like all the, all the stars twinkle like little matches? <laughs> Or how about all the stars twinkle like little candles or like candles in the, in the sky. <laughs> the stars twinkle like candles in the sky. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Ava matches because only this starts a fire. Others, um, others um, st stop, put out a fire. So the others put out. So... Um, matches start a fire and the others put out a fire. So start and put out. So we, we, we start a fire put out a, st a, a fire. Put out a fire. Okay, so you Start a fire and put out a fire. So let's say you, you okay, so let's say let's say it's plus and this would be minus. Okay, so start a fire, put out a fire. Ah, nice Lolly. Lolly says matches are useful for a candlelight dinner. Nice, nice. Very romantic. No problem. Air Lady, don't say sorry. Everybody, so um, Air Lady said, sorry for, for my sentences. Don't say sorry. We're all learning together. We're all practicing together. So, so actually, Air Lady, we can learn from mistakes, right? So we, we talked about this because um, you had trouble thinking of which word. And so this helped us, for, it, this helped your mistake helped everyone learn, so don't ever say sorry. Um, matches because you can, right, you can light 
the birthday candles, right? So by you asking the question or you making a mistake in your sentence helped other people learn too. So never say sorry. So a match lights the birthday candles. Radu says, um, do Japanese people normally smoke? Um, it's going down. So before, when I, when I came to Japan 25 years ago, oh, everybody smoked. It seemed like to me, right? California is like a non, no smoking state, right? So in California, smoking is way down, right? Not many people smoke in California. So when I came to Japan, I was like surprised. Wow, everybody smokes. And I hate tobacco smokes. Like, ah. But now it's gone way down. So um, the, the smoking rate, the, the number of people smoking is going way down, 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 down. So I'm very happy about that. So you still see smokers, right? There's still plenty of, there are still plenty of people who smoke cigarettes, but it's way down from before. That's right, Vilmar. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the sky so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are. <laughs> hey, pretty good. Yeah, I remembered that. Yeah? Pretty good. I remembered that. <laughs> Helga, let me check your sentence here. Hold on, Helga, please. Okay, here we go, Helga. A fire extinguisher because it is an obligar obligatory thing in cars. Oh, um, obligar. Oh, what's the word? How do I pronounce it? I'm forgetting how to pronounce it. Um, oblig. Oh gosh, I can't believe I'm forgetting how to pronounce it. Oblig obligatory. Ah, Helga, I'm so sorry. My brain, I'm, I'm forgetting how to pronounce it. Um, I, I need to, hold, hold on. This is like, ah, oblig, oh, I can't, I can't pronounce it right now. Oblig, mm. oblig, I get, okay, hold on. Ah, this is, I need to hear it. God, I've been in Japan too long. I've been in Japan too long. I haven't, I haven't heard that word in a long time. Oh, how embarrassing. I'm, I'm super embarrassed. But I, I, got to, um, I got to hear the word. Hold on, I can turn up the volume. Obligatory. Huh? Obligatory. That's a terrible pronunciation. One more time. Obligatory. Jeez. Listen. Obligatory. That, that's terrible pronunciation. Oblig... Oblig... Obligarit... Ah! I... I'm... It's not working in my head right Obligatory. now. Her, her pronunciation is terrible. I can't understand from her. Obligatory. Obligar oh, sorry, Helga. It, it's not work. My brain isn't working right now. Obligate. Obligarity. 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 There we go. Obligarity. <laughs> Obligarity. Okay, Helga. I'm sorry. Here we go. One more time, Helga. Now I could read your sentence. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh, that's the thing. Living in Japan and um, not hearing words for a long time and not forgetting how to pronounce it. Okay. A fire extinguisher because it is an obligatory thing. So, so yeah, so it's obligatory. That's the wrong, the wrong, it's, that's the wrong, it's wrong. It, it's the wrong form. We, we, we don't want the adjective. 
We want the noun. Obligo, obligo, oblig, we want the noun. We don't want the adjective. That's what, that's what is, that is what's confusing me. We want the noun. What is the noun? Obligor. I'm sorry, it's, I, I can't think of it right now. What is the noun? I need some help, people. Obligord. Obligat. That, that's the wrong word. What, what is the noun? Radu. Obligor. Obla. Obligatory. It, it's not making sense to me. Obligation. Obligation. Okay, yeah, okay. Obligation. That's the noun. Now you're teaching me English. Thank you. You are teaching me English. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, that's British for sure. That That is British pronunciation. Yeah, Sevra. So everyone is teaching me about it now. <laughs> I feel really embarrassed. Okay, obligation, right? You have an obligation. So the, okay, so I guess you do want the, you do want, so it's, it's um, mandatory. So that's what, that's the most, that's what we say. So let's say mandatory because for some reason, obligatory is not working for me. That's not working for me. So Helga, I love you, Helga. Let's say mandatory. Okay, that's a better word. Mandatory. Okay, obligation. That's right. You have an obligation to your company. You have an obligation to do something, right? Where I, I think that we, I think you want to use mandatory. So, so a fire extinguisher is mandatory um, to have in your car. Right, it's not ob it's not an obligation. An obligation is almost something you should do. Right, it, it's something you should do. Mandatory is like a law. Right, <laughs> right to obligatory. See, it's not. It doesn't sound right to me. So I'm sure it's correct. Obligatory, obligatory, obligatory. But um. It should be mandatory, okay, Helga? So having a, uh, having a fire extinguisher in your car is mandatory. It is mandatory. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's, let's move on, okay? <laughs> obligation. Okay, so obligation is something you should do, okay? But a rule, something that the law tells you, the police tells you, it is um, mandatory, mandatory. Move on, Tomas says. I think that's a good idea. So let's move on. And our next activity is problem solution. Move on, move on, problem solution. Let's write that down. I got some space right here. One, two, and three. Problem, solution. I had a big problem be right there. <laughs> solution. Obliga obligatory. Obligatory. I don't know why I can't pronounce it. Obligatory. There, there's, I'm, I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I don't know why. Mm. I, I still think obligation is more, yeah, there you go, Radu, thank you. I still think obligation is more like kind of volunteer in a way, where um, mandatory is you must do it. It's mandatory that you do it. It must be done. Okay, here we go. Problem solution. I'm going to give you a problem and you give me a solution. 
That is a, I don't know why I'm, I can't pronounce that word. Obligatory. It doesn't sound right. Obligatory. Obli Obligatory. I don't know why. It, I don't think, for some reason, it's not, doesn't sound right to me. Okay, here we go. Problem. Problem. I'm afraid of needles. What's the solution? I'm afraid of needles. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's more my brain and tongue not working together, Tomas. My brain and tongue are not working. I think so, Radu. Well, it's just I haven't heard that word in a long, long, long time. Okay, I'm afraid of needles. What's the solution? Radu says, stop being afraid of needles. <laughs> Stay at home. I'm afraid of needles. Oh, Umesh says, uh, meet a psychiatrist. Just faint, Vilmar says. Just go ahead and faint. <laughs> No synapses. The synapses are gone, Tomas. Okay, Marco, stay away from them. Take some different kind of medicine. Try to have needles as friends, says Radu. Let the needles be your friend. Oh, uh, Saku, I didn't see your comment, Saku. Sorry, let me go back. Sometimes I don't see everybody's comments because I'm not. I'm looking at the camera or the whiteboard, so I miss. So, Saku, I, I don't see it. Saku, please tell me one more time, okay, Saku? One more time. Please write it down. Okay, Helga. Let your wife sew the buttons on your shirt. No, 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 no. This the kind of the needle that the doctors use. Helga. Use the ones. So the ones that the needle, not the sewing needle, but the the medical needle. <laughs> You're like, don't go to a doctor. Sebra, become a doctor. Lolly says, don't get sick. Then you don't need a needle. Don't get sick. Okay, pretty Fifi, take another kind of medicine. Good, Fifi. Take another kind of medicine. Oh, Tomas says, do not watch it. So when, when, ugh, when the nurse or doctor is giving you a shot, don't look. Yeah, that's good. Or don't just, you know they have a needle. You know it's over there. Don't look over there. Don't look at it. Good advice, Tomas. I, I usually, I don't look, right? So if I'm at the doctor and they're checking my blood or taking blood, you know, and they, they put the needle in your vein, I don't look. <laughs> I don't look. Yeah, Helga, don't look. I think that's good advice. Air Lady says, be strong, you need to take the vaccine. Yeah, Helga, don't look. Pretty, okay, good, good. Lolly, ask your doctor for medicine that you can drink instead. Oh, good, Lolly. Lolly says, ask your doctor for medicine that you can drink instead. Yeah, Umesh says some people are afraid of needles. Yep. Oh, Ava says, don't worry. It's very fast to do it. Kayleen says, don't worry. It'll be quick. Okay, Kayleen, it will be quick. Tomas says he always looks. So Tomas wants to see the needle in his arm. Okay, good. All right, that's good. Let's do another one. Radu says, try to have a ritual that makes you unafraid. 
before you take the shot. Oh, good, Radu. Lolly say, Lolly says, take a pill before the injection. Ah, like take it, relax, a relaxant. Mm -hmm. Oh, Saku, that's terrible. Yeah, fire, that's arson, that's terrible. Yeah, that's not good, Saku. So take care of yourself, Saku, take care. Okay, let's do one more, shall we? Here we go, here we go. Ha <clears throat> ha, <laughs> Radu. I think that will get you more paranoid. I think, Radu, I think that would make it worse. If you got high before the injection, I think that would be worse. That would make you like par more, more paranoid, I think. Ah, Umesh says, tolerate small pain. Yeah, so Lolly, don't look at the needle. That's right. That's what I do, Lolly. Don't look at the needle. Don't look at the needle. Okay, here we go. One more. Here's our next problem solution. Here, yeah, maybe get drunk before the injection. <laughs> I don't think, no, I don't think that's a good, then you have, you can't drive to the doctor. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Lolly, don't look at the needle. Very good. Okay, here we go. Our Second problem, you give me the solution. The problem is, I can't seem to get any good ideas. I can't seem to get any good ideas. I can't seem to get any good ideas. What's the solution? My problem, I can't seem to get any good ideas. What is the solution? Helga, yeah, there, I mean, there's all kinds of things like that, huh? So Helga says, there are people who are afraid of the holes. Yeah, there's lots of weird little things like that, huh, Helga? Yeah, don't look, air lady, don't look at the injection. Oh, um... Take a nap. You need a rest. Oh, go t go on Pinterest. Ask a friend, says Tomas. Ask some information to your friends. Think think over think it over again, or think it over. Read some books. Marcos. Uh, make a video next time you get a shot and post it on social media. I'm pretty sure you won't want to look like the ones who are afraid of me. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not afraid. These are, this is practice. <laughs> but I, I'm not afraid of needles, but um, I don't look, right? When, when the nurse or the doctor is giving me a shot, I, I turn my head. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not afraid. Okay, here we go. I can't seem to get any good ideas. Oh, Ava, go on holiday. That's good. Oh, Radu, talk to an artist. They tend to be creative. Good. I like go on holiday, Ava. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think that's a good solution. I don't have any good ideas. Ah, I need to go on vacation. I need to go on holiday. Watch an animated movie. <laughs> Air Lady says, you need to talk with someone so you will get some idea. I, that also helps, right? So um, brainstorm, talk to friends. I think that's also a good, um, good way to do it, Air Lady. What does it mean drop by? Okay, we will, we're going to do that soon, okay? Pretty, our, who, that's our topic today. That's our, our um, members sentence. So we will, um, so drop by means have a short visit. 
have a short visit. You must read moral stories. You will get great ideas. Try to relax, says Lolly. Pretty Fifi, you can communicate with people. Yeah, go on holiday. I think that's a good thing <laughs> to get ideas. I have, Raidu says, I have too many ideas. I have to go on holiday not to go insane. That's right. Helga, um, ask your students for new ideas. Good, good, Helga. Radu. <laughs> Radu's Canadian. We know how Canadians are, Radu. <laughs> Radu is in Canada, and we know what Canadians do in their free time. <laughs> I know what Canadians do in their free time, Radu. Okay. Um, how I can't seem to get any good ideas. Actually, what I do when I, when I can't get a, a good idea for a video... I go for a walk. So when I'm walking, I get ideas. When I go on a walk, I get ideas for videos and, and worksheets and, and live stream classes. No, I don't think you chase bears. You do something else. Canadians do something else in their free time. No, not eat pancakes. <laughs> Oh, Lolly says, take a nap and dream about good ideas. Well, what I do is like um, when I go to bed, and so I try to um, think about things when I'm in bed before I sleep, and so maybe I have a um, dream, and that dream will be a good idea. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, Radu, walk through nature is a great way to get ideas. Pretty Fifi, you can relax your brain and stay away from people. Yeah, go into nature. That's what, like take a walk and get away from people, get away from noise, get away from the phone, get away from the computer, and just think. Yeah. Okay, good job, everyone. I'm going to um, put that here because we have to change topics. Yes, we do. And our next topic is... Conversation, yeah, so let's do a conversation. That will be number four. But the whiteboard is full, yes it is. So um, I need to take a picture of the whiteboard and erase the whiteboard, all right? So let me get my phone. Here is the camera's on. So I'm gonna step back and take a picture of the whiteboard. Here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I got a picture of the whiteboard. So now I can erase it and I will upload it to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can have, um, you can check it out anytime you want to. So I need to take these down, take the cards down, erase the board for our dictation cards. So our next, no, 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 no. We're going to do the conversation, then dictation cards. Okay, so let me erase the board. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so our next activity is a conversation, and we will do a few steps. I will read the conversation. So you have to listen carefully. Then I'll write it on the whiteboard so you can have a look. Then we will practice the pronunciation. We will practice pronunciation. We will practice speed. We will go slowly and quickly. We will read the conversation slowly and quickly. Then we will talk about the meaning. And then we will um, role play. We will be the conversation. Okay, so we will do a few steps. So this is um, activity number four, conversation. 
And the um, topic is pronouns. Okay, so I'm going to read the conversation for you. And we, so this is book two. And we are doing conversation number two. So we just started this, we just started book two last week. We finished book one. Yeah, and so now we're on book two. And there's still one more book, book three. Okay, and here is, okay, so this is page five, conversation two. So um, I'll go ahead and read it first, so please listen carefully. Here we go. What is she doing? I'm not sure. Looks like she's holding a frog. I think you are right. Do you like frogs? Not really. Okay, here we go one more time. What is she doing? I'm not sure. Looks like she's holding a frog. I think you are right. Do you like frogs? Not really. <laughs> okay, good. So I read you the conversation. So let's look at the picture. Okay, so here we go. What is she doing? I'm not sure. And it continues down here. Looks like she is holding a frog. I think you are right. Do you like frogs? Not really. Okay, so I'm going to write the conversation on the board and we will practice. Okay, so here we go. So A, A says, what is she doing? What is she doing? B says, I'm not sure. A says, looks like she's holding a frog. Looks like she's holding a frog. B says, I think you are right. I think you are right. A says, do you like frogs? Do you like, that's an ambulance. Do you like frogs? Question. And B says, not really. Not really. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's um, practice pronunciation. Let's do speed practice. We will go slowly and quickly, all right? And then we will talk about the meaning. So let's go with pronunciation right now. What is she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What is she doing? What is she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What is she doing? I'm not sure. 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 Looks like she's holding a frog. 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 I think you are right. 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 
I think you are right. Do you like frogs? 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 Not really. 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 Okay. All right. So we we went over pronunciation. We went quickly. We went slowly. All right. Now let's talk about the meaning. Okay. What is she doing now? She's a pronoun, and perhaps her name is, let's say her name's Sue. I don't know. Let's say Sue, for example. Okay? So you can say, what is Sue doing? Or, what is she doing? So, Sue is the proper noun, and she is the pronoun. Sue is a proper noun. That's her name. Her name is Sue, and Sue is the proper noun. And she is the pronoun. What is she doing? Now, it's a question. So here's what. So that's a what question. What is she doing? So doing, um, what's her activity um, at the time, at the moment, right? So it's in present time. We're looking and she's, she's doing it at the time. At this time, we're looking at her. She's holding a frog, right? So she is in the progress of doing this. What is she doing? And then B says, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So I don't know 100%. So I can't tell you definitely. I can't tell you 100%. I'm not 100% certain. I am not 100% positive. So I'm not sure. So maybe I'm 50%, right? So. I can't tell you because I, I don't know exactly. I'm not sure. I don't know exactly. I'm not sure. Then A says, looks like she's holding a frog. So looks like, so using your eyes, and you could say, okay, I guess, right? Looks like I'm guessing from my experience, I would say. From my experience, seeing a frog in my life, I would say. So, looks like. So, you're using your eyes to explain. Looks like. Or if you're using your nose, you go, oh, it smells like pasta. Oh, it smells like pizza. So, it smells like. So, you're using your sense of smell to, to, um, disc or to, to, um, give a guess, right? Oh, it smells like pizza. I don't know. I don't see it. But smells like pizza. In my experience, in my life, that that smell equals pizza. And so you would say, oh, smells like pizza. Or um, let's see, sound. So you don't see it, right? But oh, it sounds like uh, a motorcycle. So I don't see it, but in my experience, in my life, that sound equals a motorcycle. So Oh, sound, that sounds like a motorcycle. Okay, so she's using her eyes and she goes, okay, it looks like she's holding a frog. So she, what's she doing? So now we're talking what's happening right now. What is she doing? She's holding a frog. So she, it's in her hand and she's holding the frog. It's in her hand and she's holding a frog. Okay, um, I think you are right. So uh, when you say like, I think so, I think you are right. Um, I, I, not 100%, but I, I agree, I agree. So I think you're right. So I'm agreeing with you. I think you're right. So I agree with you. I think you are right means I agree with you. Do you like frogs? Do you get, do you, um, are you fond of frogs? Do you, um, yeah, so like, enjoy, not enjoy frogs. So when, if you enjoy frogs, you, you play with frogs, you, you, you look at pictures of frogs, you, um, 
study frogs, whatever. So that's enjoy frogs. But do you like frogs? Do, do um, opposite would be um, like, no, I don't. I don't like frogs. But oh, yes, I do. They're cute. I like frogs. They're cute. Um, they're, they don't bite. They're nice, nice. I'm not sure they're amphibians, right? So uh, they're nice amphibians, you know. They, they're, they're cute. I don't mind them. <laughs> I like frogs. And B says, not really. Not really. Do you like frogs? Not really. So that, that's in between. So I like frogs. I don't like frogs. In between is not really. Not really. Um, or not. Okay. I don't like frogs. Not really. So maybe give and I could give or take them. Right? Do you like frogs? Ah, not really. Like, they're okay. They're not my favorite, but um, I can stand them. Right? I can stand them. So, um, not really. Okay, good, good, good. So, um, um, okay, now I'm looking at the chat. Let's see. Okay. Ava, I don't like frogs, really? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, Ava, I really don't like frogs. That means I really don't like frogs. So, like very, so really, very. So I, so I really don't like frogs. That means you, you have a strong opposition to frogs. You have a strong opposition to frogs. Okay. Let's be the conversation, shall we? Let's be the conversation. I'm A, you are B. A, B, A, B. Okay, let's do it. Let's practice. I will be A, you will be B. Okay, here we go. Countdown to role play. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. What is she doing? Looks like she's holding a frog. Do you like frogs? <laughs> Why not? They're cute. Okay, here we go. Count down. Okay, let's do it again. Second time. Five, four, three, two, one. What is she doing? Looks like she's holding a frog. Do you like frogs? <laughs> Why not? Okay. Here we go. Third time is a charm. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. What is she doing? Looks like she's holding a frog. Do you like frogs? Why not? <laughs> okay, good, good, good. All right, let's, let's change. Let's switch. You are A, I am B. A, B, A, B. Here we go. Count down. You are A now. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm not sure. I think you are right. Not really. <laughs> not really. Nah, not really. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Second time. You are A. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think you are right. Not really. No, nah, not really. No. <laughs> okay, let's do it third time. Third time's a charm. I do too. I like frogs too, Aurora. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I'm not sure. I think you are right. Not really. <laughs> not really. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was the conversation. And um, let's practice a pattern here. So here we have our conversation, and over here we have some, it's called expansion, so some more practice, some more practice here. So let's do some more practice, all right? So here's a pattern, so let's practice this pattern. Here we go. And the pattern is she is in a 
Okay, so I want you to make some sentences based on this pattern. So, uh, she, she is holding a frog, right? So, she is holding a frog, right? So, here's the pattern. She is, mm, so here's the verb, right? Verb and then noun. Okay, she is mm, uh, mm. Okay, so let's see your sentence. Radu, she is singing a popular song. Umesh, she is holding a paper. Lolly says she is studying English with Mark. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Not many people are studying English with me, but I appreciate you, Lolly, very much. Ava, she is making a cake. Good, Tomas. She is reading a newspaper. Good, Tomas. Vilmar, she's singing a song. Good, Vilmar. Radu, she is cooking a pizza, says Radu. Ava, she is drinking a coffee. Helga, she is dreaming a dream. Radu, she is drinking a cup of coffee. Uh, Saku, she is holding a frog. Lolly, she is reading an English book. Pretty Fifi, she is listening to a song. Tomas, she is running after the prince. Please kiss me. Please kiss me. Or no, already. Oh, I know, Tomas. The prince kissed her. And he, well, he kissed the frog. The frog turned into a, a princess, but an ugly princess. So... The, the, the prince says, no, I don't want her. And so he's running from the ugly princess. <laughs> Ava, she is doing housework. So we don't need a. Uh. So housework is uncountable. So she is doing housework, Ava. Lolly, she is baking an onion pie. Right, she is holding a mountain of money. Whoa, mountain of money. That's a lot. <laughs> Irene, she is driving a car. Nice, nice, nice. Helga, she is feeding a horse. Nice. Tomas, she is running away from the lion. From the lion. Lenny, how you doing? Radu, she is writing a book. Pretty Fifi, she is cleaning the house. Olga, she is watching TV. Uma, she is playing a game. Alisa, how you doing, Alisa? She is taking a swig of her gin. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Ava, she is driving a new car. She's lucky. Lolly, she is kissing the charming prince. <laughs> Saku, she is reading the news. So, Saku, we usually say the news, okay? So, please put the news. She is reading the news. Good. Alex, she is driving a car. Radu, she's holding a bag of money. Dang, she is cleaning the house. Ava, she's doing housework. Umesh, she is doing the laundry. So Umesh, the laundry. We usually say the laundry, not a laundry. The laundry. Helga, she is digging up the treasure. Lolly, she is drinking her black coffee. Radu, she is riding a bicycle. Kareen, she is reading a book. Lolly, she is taking a nap. Tomas, the prince is nice enough if she has lots of money. <laughs> Radu, she is holding a scorpion. Yikes. Alisa, she is backflipping with style. Backflipping. All right, Ava, she is playing football. Pretty Fifi, she is doing well. <laughs> she is making a pie. She is cooking a lie. She is ironing her dress. She is going to the cinema. She is washing a plate. Okay, well, we gotta stop here. She is eating some pizza. She is playing with her children. Oh, lots of good sentences here. Very good. She is watching a class of Mark. Oh, very Aurora. Okay, she is eating a cockroach, says Radu. Oh boy, she is taking a photograph. She is learning English. 
She is manning her, she is manning the desk. She is returning a frog back to the swamp. <laughs> okay, let's change activities. That's a lot of sentences. She is eating fugu. <laughs> she is playing the piano. Okay. Woo. I'm looking at the clock. We got to switch topics. All right. Saku, she is walking with her boyfriend. She is cleaning the table. She is drawing a picture. She is very busy. <laughs> okay, number five, everybody. Dictation. And our topic is drop, drop by. Drop by, um, have a short visit. Okay, and we're going to do four steps, or no, three steps, three. Dictation, of course. Shadow, of course. And we will have a quiz. Let's do three today. There we go. We do dictation, do shadow, have a quiz. All right. And so our cards are by the green team. Yes. Yeah, so on Fridays, the green team makes the sentences. They, they do the sentences. Not me. The green team does. The members of the channel, the supporters. Yep. Same meaning. Yes, Fred, do. Same Pay a casual visit, yes, yes, Lolly, good. Okay, actually there is a poll, and let's look at the poll at the top of the chat. It's in a blue box, and 77 people voted. Thank you, everyone, Mwah. and I want you to finish the sentence, and it says that the beginning of the sentence, I always drop by, and then I want you to finish, okay? And so there's actually four choices. We have the post office, we have the library, we have um, friends for a chat, and a park. So the four, the post office, the library, friends place for a chat, and the park, that's four. Okay, so, most people, so it's very close. So sometimes, you know, there's big differences, but here, this one, very interesting, very close. So pretty even. Wow, this is the first time, all in the 20%. So very close. Um, the first choice, the number one choice is, I always drop by my friends for a chat. One more time. I always drop by my friends for a chat. That was the most popular. Then the second, so that was 29%. Then our next is 26%. And that was, I always drop by the library. That was number two. I always drop by the library. Our third is 23%, the park. I always... I always drop by the park. And then our fourth is at 22%. I always drop by the post office. Wow, so very, very close. So we had 29 was the first choice, 29%. The second choice was 26%. The third choice was 23%. And the fourth choice was 22%. So very, very close. That's the first time we've had um, answers or, you know, the popularity so close. Right, dude. Uh, Mark, do you watch Japanese television normally? Um, not really, right. Actually, the situation is, right, dude, is in the living room. So I'm married. I have a wife and two kids. So they're watching Japanese television and I'm at the, at the dining room table using my computer, um, usually answering comments, 
or making videos or um, doing, uh, uh, what's the word? So I'm like um, filling out the computer, doing the details on my videos. And so I'm there, but I'm not really watching television, but I see it. So I'm kind of like, it's, it's there, but I'm not concentrating on the, on the television. I don't really care for Japanese TV. I don't think it's very interesting. I think it's bad, actually. I think Japanese television is bad. <laughs> not interesting, no. Not, I think it's bad. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, all right, so let's get to our dictation, shall we? Yeah, Radu. So my family, are wa they watch it, but it's, I'm there with them, but I'm not watching. I'm on my computer. I'm doing YouTube. I am working, and they are watching TV. So that's what it is, Radu. I'm working on the computer, and they are watching TV, but we're in the same room, in the same room. Okay, let's do it, shall we? Here we go. Topic, drop by, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards today. And our green team, the, the people who wrote the cards, we have Peter, we have Dr. Ramirez, we have Miley, <clears throat> we have Fabricio, we have Marion, we have Larissa, we have Sonara, we have Lolly, we have Ava. So those are the people this week who wrote sentences. If you want your sentences, join the channel and get your name green and I and you will have your sentences right here. Every, the world will practice your sentence. Okay, Ava's ready. Lolly says stop. That's right, Tomas. No time for TV. I'm working. I'm, I'm always working on my YouTube channel. Always. Okay, here we go. Card number one. You need a pencil. You need paper. All right, because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. That is dictation. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Very busy, Ava. With the university work and YouTube keeps me very, very busy. And the family, <laughs> right? My life is in three parts. Family, university, YouTube. Three parts. And for the third time, please drop by my office when you arrive. Card number two. If you come to Italy, drop by my house. If you come to Italy, drop by my house. If you drop, no, no. If you come to Italy, <laughs> drop by my house. Card number three. Ava. Of course, Ava. <laughs> Of course, Ava. Okay, here we go. Card number three. I dropped by the library. I dropped by the library. I dropped by the library. Number four. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. I dropped by her office this afternoon 
to pick up the tickets. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. Number five. I'm sorry I could not drop by. I'm sorry I could not drop by. I'm sorry I could not drop by. Okay, card number six. Yeah, number six. Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Cory, mwah. Hello, Cory. Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Number seven. Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Time. Number eight. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. Okay, number nine. Here we go. Last card. Number nine. I dropped by my grandfather's house. I dropped by my grandfather's house. I dropped by my grandfather's house. Okay, yes, 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 that was dictation. You are listening and writing. Yes, dictation, listening and writing. Now it's shadowing time, so that means it's speaking time. So instead of writing, you're going to be speaking. Yeah, so you're going to listen and speak. Two, two skills at the same time, listening and speaking, input, output, input, output, input, output. All right, so this is now Speaking practice. Okay, here we go. Countdown to shadowing. Five, four, three, two, one. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Please drop by my office when you arrive. That is Fabricio's card. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Right? So have a short visit. Have a short visit. Please drop by my office when you arrive. Number two. If you come to Italy, 
drop by my house. If you, <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> if you come to Italy, drop by my house. If you come to Italy, drop by my house. If you come to Italy, drop by my house. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Miley. Yes, this is Miley's card. She lives in Italy. So she said, if you come to Italy, drop by my house. Oh, thank you. So come have a short visit. Thank you, Miley. <clears throat> okay, number three. I dropped by the library. I dropped by the library. I dropped by the library. This is Dr. Amaris. I dropped by the library. So Dr. Amaris had a short visit to the library. Number four. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. This is Peter. I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. So the, the purpose was to pick up the tickets, yeah? So, so Peter went for a short visit to pick up the tickets, right? So I dropped by her office this afternoon to pick up the tickets. So the purpose, why did you drop by? To pick up the tickets. Okay, number five. I'm sorry I could not drop by. I'm sorry I could not drop by. I'm sorry I could not drop by. This is Ava, her sentence. I'm sorry I could not drop by. So Ava had it, so her, her, she had an accident. So she couldn't, she couldn't come over for a visit because her foot was injured. So Ava had an injured foot. So she said, I'm sorry I could not drop by. Okay, number six. Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? This is Lolly's card. Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? So, um, Lolly's asking, like for example, okay, on your way home, drop by the bakery and pick up. So, you know, before you get home, drop by the bakery and get some bread. So, stop for a short, just drop for a short visit, buy some bread from the bakery. Okay, our next card. Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime. Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? This is Sonara. She says, why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Why don't you drop by for some coffee Sometime. That's Sonara. So Sonara saying, oh, when you have time, why don't you stop for a short visit? Yeah, and we'll have a cup of coffee and we will talk. Yeah, so that's very friendly. That's very nice to say. This is very natural, right? This is a great sentence, actually. Very natural English. Why don't you Drop by for some coffee sometimes. Very friendly. It's a very good thing to say to a friend. The, the, your friend will feel very um, happy if you say this. 
Okay, here we go. Card number eight. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. All right, so this is Larissa, and she said, When I go visit my son's family, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. So that's really nice, Larissa. So, so she doesn't go empty-handed. No, because it's nice. She brings a cake. She, so she's driving to her son's family, right? So her son is married. There's a wife. There's maybe children. And so she drives over to her son's house. Before she goes to her son's house, she stops by the bakery, picks up a cake, then continues on to her son's house. She brings the cake in. Maybe her son's wife makes a pot of tea. And together with her, fa with her son's family, they have cake for the tea. So the cake and tea go together. So she says, I drop by the bakery to get a cake for tea. Very nice, Larissa. Okay, here we go. Last card, number nine. I dropped by my grandfather's house. I dropped by my grandfather's house. I dropped by my grandfather's house. It's Marion. So I dropped by my grandfather's house. So went to grandfather's house for a short visit. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Marion. I dropped by my grandfather's house. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so that was shadowing. That was speaking practice. I hope you're doing that with me. Yeah, this is for you. You're speaking pra this practice. The shadowing is for you. Yes, it's for you. So I hope you do it, yeah? Okay, here's the quiz. So we're going to do for the quiz, I'm going to shuffle the cards so we don't know what card one will be. We don't know what card two will be. We don't know what card three will be. So I'm randomly selecting three cards and I'm going to cover the sentence and you're going to write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Radu, I stopped. Okay, we're going to take three cards, and you're going to write the sentence in the chat. Here we go. Card number one. What is the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. What is the sentence? This is uh, Sonara. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Please. Do you remember? Do you remember the sentence? Do you remember? Can you write? If you don't have the whole sentence, that's okay. What? Do the best you can, right? So this is practice. So it's okay if you don't have the whole sentence. The important thing is to do your best. This is practice. Do your best. All right, here we go. Helga, why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Peter, why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Lolly, why don't you Drop by for some coffee sometime. Radu, why don't you drop by for some coffee? Dang, why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Vilmar, I want to drop by the cafeteria to drink some coffee. <laughs> the legendary orange tumbler. Yes, here it is right here. Ooh. Yahoo, Yahoo. Drop by, drop, drop me by for some tea. <laughs> okay, let's, Umesh, why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Eva, 
I dropped by the bakery to buy some cake and visit my son's family. Okay, here, let's, let's check it out. Here's the sentence by Sonara. Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Nice sentence, very friendly, very natural sentence. Very, so everybody, please, please remember this sentence. Please use it. It's very, very nice. This good friends say this. Why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Please come and um, visit me. No, Ava? Ava, what did I say? Do your best. Don't worry. We're practicing, Ava. Don't, don't think twice. Ava, don't think twice. Okay, here we go. Number two. Write the sentence. This is Lolly's sentence. What is the sentence? This is Lolly's sentence. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Saku, why don't you drop by for some? Saku, so why don't you drop by for some coffee sometime? Peter, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Tomas, drop by the bakery for bread. That's that that works, Tomas. That's the same meaning, different. Not exactly the same words, but same meaning, Tomas. Helga, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Lolly, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Radu, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Dang, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Ava, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Yeah, Radu, just as the same, exactly. So Tomas said, drop by the bakery for bread. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's like very short and sweet, Tomas. We say short and sweet, right to the point. M much simpler, that's right. <laughs> hey, simple is best. That's right, Tomas, simple is best. Okay, let's check out the sentence. Oh, Umesh, could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Here we go. Here is the sentence. Could you please drop by the bakery and pick up some bread? Good, good, good. Here we go. Card number concise and sweet. That's right. Here we go. Card number three. What is the sentence? And it is Ava. This is Ava's sentence. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. This is Ava's card. What did Ava say? Do you remember what Ava said? Write the sentence in the chat. Peter, I'm sorry, I could not drop by. Helga, I'm sorry, I could not drop by. Lolly, I am sorry, I can't drop by. Radu, I am sorry, I could not drop by. Eva, I am sorry, I could not drop by. Tomas, I couldn't drop by because my leg is hurt. <laughs> Now see, you did the opposite, Tomas. The, this sentence, you made it shorter. This sentence, you made it longer. What's happening, Tomas? <laughs> did everyone notice that, Tomas? He, he shortened this one and lengthened this one. <laughs> All right. Practice. That's what we're doing, everybody. We are practicing. That's the purpose. That's what we are doing right now. We are practicing together. Okay. 
Samuel, I'm sorry, I couldn't drop by. Saku, could you please drop by the bakery, pick up some bread? Vilmar, it seems like a bunch of bones. A bunch of bones. This is like the the this is the toe bone connected to the heel bone, the heel bone connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone connected to the shin bone. <laughs> Here we go. We got the toe bone connected to the heel bone, the heel bone connected to the ankle bone, the ankle bone connected to the shin bone. <laughs> Tomas. Mwah. Nice, Tomas. Tomas, you're here every week. Tomas, you practice with us. You, you do your best, Tomas, and you are growing. Yes, Tomas. Radu, that is, that, is, that is key right there. So Radu says, Tomas is using the sentences as if they are Play-Doh, and that's what it's about. It's like playing with English, right? Having fun. Playing with it, that's, that's, that's the best way to learn. Have fun, play with the language, that's, that, you're gonna learn the, that, you're gonna learn, that's the quickest way to learn, that's the best way to learn. Here we go. Yeah, Saku, I'm sorry I couldn't drop by. Here we go. Ava, I'm sorry I could not drop by. I'm sorry I could not drop by. Okay, that was three cards for the quiz. Yep. And I like that, Radu. I like people playing with the language like Play-Doh. I like it. I like it. All right. We did it. You did it, everybody. Yes. And I have to say one more time to all the people living in America. Happy Thanksgiving. Mwah. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, thanks, everyone. You guys are kind, kind, kind to me. Very, very kind. I really, really appreciate it. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we are doing this worksheet. Yes, we are. Tomorrow, we are doing this worksheet. So please join me tomorrow. Yeah, that's right, Radu. Play-Doh is flexible. And if that's, that's the key. You know, we want to be flexible. We want to um, use it for ourselves, right? So shape the language, use it for yourself, yep. Lolly, yep, happy Thanksgiving, Radu, happy Thanksgiving. Um, thank you everyone. Please um, help me to help you join the channel, become part of the green team. I really appreciate that. I also have books, we practice one today. I got three books and each book has 50 very short conversations. And then there's another one, Christmas is coming, right? And we got, which one is different? So Amazon.com, here it is. 16 themes, 256 vocabulary items, 15 verb tenses, use critical thinking. There are no wrong answers in this book. So check it out, Amazon.com, okay? And of course, please subscribe and um, like all that good jazz. Radu, do you have any plans for Christmas? No, just stay here. <laughs> stay in Japan, that's my plan. But I do have a Christmas tree and we exchange presents with my family, so we will celebrate Christmas, but in Japan. Air Lady, thank you so much. Mwah. Ava, thank you. Mwah. And Rita. Rita, I don't see her right now, but Rita, thank you. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Rita, for your extra support. I really appreciate it. Mwah. And Lolly, thank you. Lolly says, join the friendly green team. Yes, please do that, everyone. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, Tomas, have a good weekend. Everyone, take care. Oh, and we're gonna zoom on, oh, I gotta take care of, we're going, the, the, the top members, so there's different, when you join the channel, there's different um, levels. So the upper level, we're doing Zoom this um, Sunday. I, I can't forget, yeah. 
So we're going to do Zoom on Sunday. And um, tomorrow, we're going to do this worksheet. So please come tomorrow, and let's do the worksheet together. OK, so um, all right, so let's say goodbye. And everyone, take care of yourselves. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Let's um, say goodbye together, shall we? Here we go. Yeah, Corey, thank you. I will have a great afternoon. I'll be working. I appreciate it. Irene, you are very welcome. Radu, take care. Tomas, thank you. And Ava, take care. Air Lady, you too. Have a wonderful day or night. It's evening for you, maybe, Air Lady. Peter, thank you, buddy. Thank you for your support, Peter. Vilmar, take it easy. Okay, let's say goodbye together, shall we? Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everyone, let's be like a monk. Let's cook. Let's clean and pray for world peace. Okay, thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.